Hi everybody, this is Dr. Serge. Um, let's talk about a topic uh, that a lot of my patients actually ask me about, uh, which is the stress that we've been going through the last three or four months with uh, this epidemic. Um, so one of the main things I have seen is people, they come and they are stressed out, they are anxious. Uh, one of the reasons is all the propaganda that has been going on uh, from the mainstream media. So there's a big uh, fear uh, going on right now. So the, if you look at the main headlines from newspapers and different sources, uh, you will see that they try to scare us that uh, the virus is coming back, uh, things are just getting worse, and we need to do this, and we need to do that. Uh, numbers don't really agree with the headlines, meaning that yes, the number of cases have been increasing, uh, but on the other side, uh, the rate of fatality, meaning that a number of people who have died from this virus, has been decreasing uh, up to today. So even though there's more cases, uh, we have a better understanding of what's going on with this virus and how to treat people so people uh, don't get as sick. Um, but there's still this fear going on. So when people have this fear, how do, how do you process that? How do you handle that? So first of all, fear is a stress that impacts your adrenals. So when your adrenals are stressed out from emotions like fear or stress or anxiousness and so on, as your adrenals pump out more stress hormone into your bloodstream and you get this fight or flight reaction. So your body becomes tense. It becomes tight and you, you're stressed out. So it's a vicious cycle, as you can see. So you are afraid of what's going on. And your adrenals make more stress hormones. So your stress hormone makes your body tighter and more stress. Uh, and then your body makes more stress hormone and so on and so on. So that's one of the reasons why uh, people cannot sleep well at night is because of this uh, stress or this fear that has been going on. So once this stress hormone is high in your body, it shuts down your immune system. So this is the point I wanted to bring home is fear that has been going on or that has been uh, propagated by the media uh, actually depletes your immune system and it makes you more prone uh, to get infected. As a matter of fact, there's some studies now that came out showing that people who have stayed at home for weeks and months are more at risk um, to get infected by this virus. One of the reasons is because they are stressed and they are home and the immune system goes down. And the other reason is that they don't, got, they don't get vitamin D from the sun. So when you go out, you are exposed to the sunshine and your body can make vitamin D. And we know today the key to fight and win uh, against this virus is vitamin D. So it's really important that you make a that you uh, take a good amount of vitamin D if you don't get enough from your food. So the stress that has been going on into the body depletes your immune system. And that's why people who have chronic and acute stress, uh, they tend to be sicker of a time uh, because when they are exposed to a pathogen like a virus or bacteria, uh, they are more prone to get sick from this virus because your white blood cells um, are not active, are not 100% to defend and kill the pathogens. So it's really important to handle the stress. And there's many different ways to do stress, to handle stress. One is you can simply go outside and walk. Uh, exercises is now to actually reduce your stress. You can go outside, you can walk, you can run, you can ride your bike, now you can go swimming. Uh, there's many different ways to work out and to help with stress. Then there's some people who do yoga or Pilates or Zumbas. Some people would meditate. That's another way. Some people would pray. We know that prayer is one of the best way to actually uh, reduce uh, stress uh, from, from the body. You let everything, uh, all that stress, you let it out, you give it to God and God will handle that from you. So you can pray and you can take some teas. Uh, I really like teas. Uh, there's some teas for, for stress they can get. Uh, you should look for ashawanga. So ashawanga, it's an herb that you can make an infusion out of it and you can drink it. Uh, I love ashawanga. It's really calming for the adrenals. It brings the stress down and you sleep better at night. So I hope it makes sense. So these were a few tips uh, and tools for you to, 
to use and try to help you with stress because I don't think stress is going away anytime soon. I think it's going to stay here for a while uh, until we have a better understanding of what's going on with this virus and what we need to do to, 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 uh, to get rid of it. But in the meantime, the key is to, to take care of your immune system. One is to optimize your diet, cut out the sugar, and take care of your stress level. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.